I'm delighted to now present your graduate speaker for the class of 2022, Bernardo Rodriguez. I hear those sisters I, I was told about. Raised as a child in the Dominican Republic, Bernardo, his parents, and three older sisters moved to New York when Bernardo was seven. Bernardo's family settled in Sleepy Hollow in Westchester County while maintaining a strong connection to family in the Bronx. From a young age, Bernardo exhibited an unusual artistic talent, something he credits his cousin Jamie for inspiring. That talent was nurtured by Bernardo's mother and father, and later by his teachers in high school. Before learning English, drawing was a means of communicating and expressing himself with the outside world in his new home in America. Bernardo completed his undergraduate studies at Syracuse University. While at Syracuse, Bernardo knew he wanted to continue his education as an artist. He applied to MFA in illustration, his visual essay program. Uh, and was waitlisted. Sorry about that. <laughs> After two years working as a design consultant at Restoration Hardware, Bernardo took another stab at applying to SVA, and well, you can probably figure out how that part of the story ends. Bernardo, Bernardo's work is deeply inspired by his experience as an immigrant to America at a young age. His thesis, titled Visa for a Dream, explores his journey from the Dominican Republic to New York. Among his last conversations with his chair, Marshall Erisman, Marshall offered this prediction, you will be a teacher. And if you close your eyes, you can hear Marshall uttering those words. Here today is Bernardo's mother and two of his three sisters. Please join me in welcoming Bernardo Rodriguez. Thank you, Dr. Cyphers, for your introduction. Greetings to everyone present in this hall and people on the internet. President David Rhodes, members of the board, department chairs, distinguished guests, Roxanne Gay, faculty and staff of SVA, parents, spouses, friends, family, guests, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. I am honored to be representing the class of 2022. My class, we did it. Join me in giving thanks to our parents and all who have supported us on this educational journey. My family and I moved to New York from the Dominican Republic in 2002. And for as long as I can remember, drawing has been the universal language I used to connect with the world. In fact, throughout my life, the arts have always been the bridge that allowed me to communicate with others even before I spoke English. I grew up listening to a brilliant Dominican musician named Juan Luis Guerra, that said, la música que se aprende no tiene nada que ver con la que se lleva adentro. The music that is learned has nothing to do with the music we have inside. I see this as similar to art, as similar to life, as we will constantly have more to learn. And on our journey, we will sharpen our swords and techniques. But as we grow forward, we find that the work we create is carving inward, finding that music inside each of us, creating purity. As artists, we know it's actually hard to finish anything. In fact, Da Vinci said it best, art is never finished, only abandoned. Well, I'm glad we actually saw this one through. This is a big deal. And right now, we are all wearing similar caps and gowns. But what makes us so special and unique is how different our visual languages are and how they have been encouraged. All of our individual experiences have led us down similar yet distinct paths that even intertwine with others. 
but each will always be uniquely our own, a work of art that bears our soul and speaks from the heart. That is our superpower as creators, the spontaneous and instinctual nature of our strokes and techniques. As creatives, we make sacrifices in order to live our version of freedom. We do what needs to be done to sustain ourselves and our families. We attempt to create work that moves us and our audiences. That is not easy. To put your name on your work and say, this is mine, is a brave action we take as creatives. But it's our only choice. We do this because we are vessels of light and creativity. Because no one can paint a stroke the exact way as another, or direct that film, or write that story. Whatever you were chosen to create in this lifetime is unique and yours alone. But there's the added blessing that comes from our work serving as a universal language. Anyone from anywhere can be moved by art. Our creative output can connect with the world no matter where you may be from. Today, we are celebrating our achievements and accomplishments, but we know that a lot of hard work dedication, and commitment brought us to today. If we are honest, there have been moments of struggle or maybe existential angst. Society still looks at those of us who choose the arts as a profession as starving artists. But my father, who was looking down at us in full support, had a saying, el día bueno, mételo en casa, que el malo se mete solo which means, on the good days, put in work, because the bad days will come in on their own. I would hear that and remind myself that while I still wake up every morning, while I still have passion and energy, I have no choice but to hustle, because the obstacles are inevitable. Art is an essential part of human communication, beyond technology or the common conversation. As human beings, especially creatives, there can be moments of doubt and uncertainty, but it's our purpose, our mission, that keeps us moving forward. Sometimes we have to lose ourselves in our work in order to find ourselves outside of it. In our case, our craft is the perfect tool within which to lose ourselves because it only leads to more discovery. There's a lifetime of self-realization and creativity ahead of us. And although there will be turbulence along the way, we have to keep flying. We also have the added blessing of having our craft, our art, as the therapeutic tool that acts as our life's journal. Each piece, a new entry that documents our growth. So as we prepare to start the next part of our journey as creative visionaries, I want you to remember a famous Dominican saying that goes, con paciencia y calma, se sube un burro a una palma. With patience and calm, even a donkey can climb a palm tree. <laughs> Dominicans. In other words, where there's a will, there's a way, especially as creatives. Your best work is still in front of you. And with patience and dedication, your creations will emerge from the fog. I know this is easier said than done, but I just ask that you all try to produce work that makes you smile like a child while you're making it. Work that sends shivers down your spine, like all the ghosts of artists past are behind you, telling you to keep going or move that line to the left a little. Seriously. What will get us up in the morning is creating with purpose, creating with passion. You would not be as special as you are if your perspective was not as fresh as it is. No one's journey will be exactly like yours, and that is incredibly exciting. Our individuality 
should drive each of us to keep pushing and connecting with our own unique artistic voice. I look forward to experiencing what you all create. Thank you. Thank you, Bernardo, for those wonderful words.